Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we're gonna continue our snack and ladder game and also add the dice roll such that when we move, we move like the original game. And also, let's create the snakes and ladders and let's get started. In this video, we're gonna make the player move on a dice roll, that means on a random number like in the original game we do. And also, we will create snacks and ladders such that we can use their position to move the player when the player steps on him. So for that let's move to the code and create a variable dice roll we initially keep the value 0 and then in the draw function let's draw the text on canvas so for that first you have to set the size of the text and you have to call text size function passing in the size of the text in this case i'm passing 24 and then you need to create the text by calling text function passing in the text you want to display and the coordinates where the text will be placed in this case, we'll go for width minus 250, that means upper right corner of the window. And then we also need to add the variable to the text. And then we will call fill 0 to make the text black. Now we just have to generate random number for the dice roll. And this we can do in the mouse pressed function. Whenever the mouse is pressed, we will generate a random number and assign that random number to the dice roll. So for generating a number between 1 to 6, we need to map the random function that means random number generates number from 0 to 1. So we need to map that range to 1 to 6. And we are done. This map function will return a number between 1 to 6. And this random function gives a floating point number so we have to convert that floating point number to integer. So we will use javascript's math.round function to round floating point number to the nearest integer hence we will successfully convert a number generated by a random function from 0 to 1 which can be anything a floating point number to a number which is between 1 to 6 and including 1 and 6 now we will pass this number to the take step function and we will change the take step function such that to take multiple steps And now we'll simply create a for loop and we'll make this for loop run n times and we don't need this statement. We will just copy and paste this if else statement right into the for loop and we'll run this for loop n number of time that means taking n steps. Before it used to take only one step and now we are doing it n times so it will take n steps. And now let's save this and test that. As you can see the player is moving but we are not seeing its movement we directly see it at the position so let's change that so i went online and searched for sleep in javascript and found this and placed that inside the for loop such that after each step it's gonna show us the movement of the player and for this to work we need to set the function asynchronous so you just have to put the keyword async before the function you'll find this line of code in the description so don't worry now let's check the game as you can see the player is moving perfectly and each moment we can see it's not directly jumping into the position now let's create some helper classes for creating snacks and ladders so first we will make a point which will store x and y coordinate and then we will create a line which will store two points p1 and p2 and then we will have a draw function which we can call on the object of this line such that the line is drawn and p5j supplies a method line which can create a line by taking in four parameters that is the x and y's of the two points now as we need to draw the lines from the center of the boxes like the ellipse of the player we need to also set box width and box height in this function so we will just go there and copy the box width and box height and paste that here and also we'll do the same with the coordinates of line whatever you are doing to the coordinates of ellipse so we'll multiply box width and add box width divide by 2 so let's just copy this also and paste it there and we will do the same thing with the y coordinate so just copy and paste that here this will essentially make the line draw from the center of the box now let us create a class for snakes such that we can draw the snake on the screen and we can save it for later processing like moving the player based on the position of the player so for that we will create a list in which we will store all the snakes which are currently on the screen and let's have a draw function to draw all the snakes on the screen so we will basically create a line and then push this line into the list such that we can process it later and then draw this line now let us see what will be the coordinates of these two points 
so the first point of the line will be here that is 2 from the x and 0 from the y that means the index of the box in this grid let's pass these two values to the point constructor now let us see where will be our second point so second point will be 1 from the x and 2 from the y so let's just pass these values to the point and let's create one more line for the snake and we will just copy paste this line and change the l1 to l2 now let's see where will be the first point of the second line so it will be here that is 4 from the x and 2 from the y now let's change those points coordinates to this 4 comma 2 now the last remaining point will be 2 from the x and 5 from the y so let's just set these coordinates to the point now to make the line a little wide we will have a stroke weight of 5 and uh, the stroke of color green that means 0 to 55 and 0 you can have any color you like I'm having green for the snake now as you can see the stroke weight of the grid is not that wide so we need to push the state whenever we're changing the stroke weight and pop it back such that the stroke weight and stroke returns to normal these are the functions applied by p5js to push and pop the state of the drawing let's just change the l1 to l2 and now we will create the ladder class similar to the snake class so just copy and paste that and just change the name to ladder the change here will just be the coordinates of the points so i've already calculated the coordinates where it has to be so i'm just gonna change the numbers also the color here will be blue so it will be 0 0 to 55 now let's go up and add snakes and ladders to the constructor of the player so that we can draw the snakes and ladders when we are drawing the player now we just have to go up and create objects of snakes and ladders and pass these variables to the player and also as usual I made a mistake I forgot this before the p1 and p2 now let's run that and check as you can see the snakes and ladders are being drawn on the screen so in the next video we're gonna make these snakes and ladders work like when actually the player steps on them the player's position will be changed and also we're gonna include end game and start game so subscribe to cold snake and never miss a video thank you for watching see you next time